All right, so let's go ahead and talk about cells in general. So now that we've talked about cell theory and where cells come from and how they first discovered cells and things that um, go along with that, now let's actually talk about cells themselves. So the objective of this is to explain the relationship between shell, cell shape and function, to identify factors that limit cell size, to describe the three basic parts of a cell, compare prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, and to analyze the relationship among cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and organisms. So, the cells come in a variety of shapes and sizes, and the whole purpose behind that is that the shapes and sizes of a cell suit the function of the cell. So, when we talk about this in a sense of anatomy and physiology, we say that structure follows function. A cell has the shape and size that it does based on what the function of the cell is. So remember that form follows structure, function, or structure follows function. Like I mentioned, cell shape is determined by the function of the cell. So for instance, nerve cells up here have long extensions. The whole reason they have that shape is because the function of nerve cells is to transmit signals throughout your body to tell other parts of your body what to do or to send messages. Skin cells, for instance, have more of a flat plate-like shape. And again, the whole purpose is because the function is to cover and protect the body. So remember that structure follows function or the form of the cell is going to follow the function. This might be simple. It might be complex based on what the cell does. As far as cell size go, there are a few types of cells that are large enough to be able to see with the human eye. An extensive nerve cell, for instance, or a human egg cell are both pretty large, but most cells are microscopic, which is why they weren't discovered until the discovery of the microscope. Okay. The size of a cell is limited by the relationship of the cell's outer surface area to its volume, or what we call the surface area to volume ratio. As a cell grows, its volume increases faster than the surface area because of this. This is important because of cell processes, which we'll talk about in chapter five, and the way that materials enter and exit the cell. An important part of this chapter is to talk about your three basic parts of a cell. When we get to 4.3, we'll talk about all the different organelles and the different functions of the organelles. But when we talk about 4.2, we just wanna focus on the three major basic parts that all cells have not just eukaryotic cells, so both prokaryotic and eukaryotic, which we'll talk about what those terms mean in a second. So all cells have a cell membrane or a plasma membrane. This covers the surface or the outside of the cell and it acts as a barrier that lets some things through and not others. The cell has the cytoplasm or this jelly that's inside the cell. This holds the fluid, the cytoskeleton, gives the cell shape as well as serves as an area for other organelles to be held in. And the cell has a nucleus or a control center, okay? There's usually DNA embedded in this, um, or they have some sort of control center where DNA is at. When we talk about eukaryotic cells, we talk about the nucleus itself. When we talk about prokaryotic cells, we just talk about the DNA being the control center. So control center, cytoplasm, and plasma membrane. Looks like this. So usually in a eukaryotic cell, it's a nucleus. There might be just DNA in a prokaryotic cell, cytoplasm, and then a cell membrane. The two basic types of cells that I mentioned are prokaryotic cells and then eukaryotic cells. So prokaryotic cells begins with a P. It's because these are more primitive. These lack... Uh, uh, membrane-bound organelles as well as a nucleus. So these don't have all the fancy organelles that we're going to talk about in 4.3. They're lacking them. Um, their information is often stored in something called a nucleoid, and they just have DNA kind of floating around inside of them. This is only for bacteria, both ancient bacteria or archaea, as well as uh, your regular old bacteria. Okay. As far as eukaryotic cells go, these are your more complex, um, more up-to-date cells. These are types of cells that humans have and animals and plants. These are made up 
of organelles that have certain functions inside of them and they also have what's called the nucleus or the control center. These are generally larger than prokaryotic cells. We'll talk a lot more about the organelles that make up eukaryotic cells in 4.3. This is what a eukaryotic cell looks like. This is what a prokaryotic cell looks like. So prokaryotic, like I said with a P, a lot more primitive. Eukaryotic, these are the cells that make up fungi and animals and plants, and they have all the bells and whistles or all the different organelles that do different functions that we'll talk about in four. As far as cell organization goes, when we talk about cells, we talk about how cells make up tissues and tissues make up organs and organs make up organ systems. So when we talk about the organization of cells, uh, groups of cells working together form a tissue, groups of tissues working together form an organ, and groups of organs working together form organ systems, which makes up the basis of multicellular organisms. Here's the image of that in here. So groups of cells make up tissues, groups of tissues make up organs, groups of organs make up organ systems. And here's an example. We talk about the respiratory system. You have alveolar cells, which make up epithelial tissue, which make up your lungs, which make up um, the respiratory system when you have all those different organs together. Okay, and there's also connective tissues in here and other tissues besides epithelium. So one of the key things you want to think about, here's some questions. Go ahead and see if you can answer these really quick. So I would pause this video here, see if you can answer them. Now the video is unpaused. Here's the answers to those questions. And that's it for two.